uh, my mother's family came from Minsk in uh, Belarus, Russia. The uh, state-sponsored terrorism against the Orthodox Jewish people was enormous. And they hid in the wagon, and they were able to, uh, fortunately, to escape. And they brought their Orthodox Jewishness to America and uh, set up a new life in Brooklyn. As I grew up, I became a very angry and uncomfortable person. Our whole household was uh, full of anger, uh, throwing things, yelling, slamming doors. We never learned love, forgiveness, patience, self-control. Amongst any relatives, there was no interest in us. We were kids to be over there. My father, uh, almost every day, would say, I was the cause of the trouble in the family. And my mother would say, Zuhasta shlachta neshima, which is, you have a mean soul. As soon as I could, when I uh, finished high school, I moved out of the house. I thought I should go uh, as far away from home as possible, but moving along further, I got married, had two children. People thought I was a very wonderful person. But at home, I was terrible. The anger and uh, absence of self-control was, uh, was awful, and I was causing uh, destruction to the family. I went to a psychiatrist, and uh, he said, well, Len, when you have these awful, awful experiences and hurting people, and does it make things better? No, it makes things worse. It adds problems on top of the problem. Came a time where my wife, Mary Jo, and I, we went to a meeting, and there was a meeting about people who had a love for God, a dependence and a personal relationship with Jesus. And I didn't want to go, but we thought we should. A woman spoke about her relationship with Jesus, that she was had suffered so much with anxiety that she had to stand at the sink, run water on her wrists just to calm down. This was uh, profound to us because Mary Jo had the same problem, and I was the cause of it. So we uh, leaned forward and we listened, and she told about how well, someone told her, you know, uh, uh, peace doesn't come from our own efforts. It comes from God. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Look into that. And I realized without the help of God, the love of God, and the healing of God, I couldn't get there. I couldn't make things better. I said, well, God, what should I do? How can I get right with you? And uh, I heard Leonard think, what have you done? Well, I've done this, done that, the other thing, bad, bad, bad. It's all bad. You want to be right with God? There's a way, and the way is through Jesus. The way is to uh, repent to God about your sins and not doing it again with God's help, not with my own help. I think that was uh, uh, the greatest experience in my life, that understanding, and that uh, confession. Well, I got home and I told Mary, uh, I'm not going to fight with God anymore with his help. And I'm not going to fight with you anymore with his help. And we kneeled together and we prayed that this was an act of God. Well, the more I read about the life of Yeshua, I saw that Jesus loves the Jewish people. And I saw that Jesus was rejected. But he continued to love back. People who have been harmful to me, I've learned to forgive. I started to move back to loving the Jewish people, my people, who I had rejected, to put our faith and trust in God every day. Not only that, but to be committed to trust God both now, today, and forevermore. And that's what we do. Forgiveness is one of the toughest things for us to do. In Luke, Yeshua said, If your brother sins against you, rebuke him. If he repents, forgive him. And if he sins against you seven times in a day, and seven times in a day returns to you saying, I repent, you shall forgive him. 
And the apostle said to the Lord, Increase our faith. Isn't that telling? Yeshua says forgive. His disciples say, I need more faith. Real forgiveness is tough. It flies in the face of our natural tendencies and our cultural upbringing. But it's central to the character of God. And our goal as followers of Yeshua is to be transformed in heart and mind into His character. Yeshua starts this revelation in Matthew 5 by quoting the Torah's laws, that you would repay each person exactly the way they treated you. If somebody hurt you or stole from you, the punishment would equal the crime. At the time of that command, it was actually a merciful thing. In many of the nations, and even still today, when they were insulted or hurt, the reaction is to take back as much as you can or to double the vengeance because of your anger. So what was commanded from Mount Sinai was creating a more just order for our society. But as we see from most of Yeshua's teachings, God's standards and desires for us are much greater and deeper than the surface of the commands.